Hey guys, we are going to start this workout and this is one of our classic warm-ups. It's important to do a dynamic warm-up of some, si some sort before your workouts or what we like to call prehab where you're kind of warming up your core and getting it ready for more intense exercise. So this is a prehab warm-up. Great for the core. If you're new to working out, this is a great way to strengthen the muscles that stabilize the spine. So we call this our quadruped warm-up. And for your members, you're very familiar with this, but Holly and I are gonna guide you through it step-by-step. Step. So all you need for this is a mat. And for those of you that checked out a mini band or if you happen to have one, you will need your mini band. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can do the same thing without it. So I'll mention that when we get there. So let's start in the quadruped position. That is knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. And I'm demonstrating from the side, Holly from the front. We're gonna start with what I call fire hydrants with our left leg first. You're gonna lift your knee up as high as you can. We're gonna do this 10 times. That's number three, number four, five. And we're gonna speed it up, six, as we're getting warmed up, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we'll go right to the right side. One, two, and if you use your imagination, you can see why I call these fire hydrants. And you can imagine that I'm the most attractive dog in the world. A big Newfoundland, a big dog. Holly's a nice skinny, pretty poodle <laughs> with her curly hair. So that's 10. Next we're gonna go what I call mule kicks. This is a leg extension, great for the hamstrings and glutes and lower back. We're gonna start with that left leg. Push with the heel and pretend like you have a big heavy door that you're opening with your foot. So you gotta use your imagination to activate those muscles. That's mind muscle connection. So we're gonna do 10 of those. Push that heavy door open, get that full extension. Two and three. Hopefully you're following along. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna to switch to the right leg. One, two, you wanna keep your spine neutral. And four, five, six. Holly's gonna keep going as I put my mic back on. <laughs> Eight, nine. That's what we call. 10, squeeze the glutes. Ah. Technical difficulties, make sure I get it on there good this time. Okay, so third part of the quadruped series is the bird dog. I think they call it this because we look like a bird dog pointing at the duck or the quail or the pigeon or whatever you're hunting. Probably not pigeon, unless you're in New York City at the park. All right, so we're gonna start with the right elbow to left knee. This is a critical part is keeping that elbow to knee, you get a nice crunch, activating your core, and then you reach out and touch someone. All right? Oh, don't touch someone right now. So we're gonna do 10 of those. Right to left, right elbow to left knee. Let's go. Crunch and reach. Crunch, reach. And yes, there's some balance. If you're weeble wobbling all over the place, that's okay. Fall over, get back up. Weeble wobbles wobble, but they don't fall down. <laughs> Yep, dating myself, that's a 1970s toy. And two more, and 10. I All wasn't right. born then, that's why I don't know what it is. Yeah, Holly does not oh. know what that is because <laughs> she wasn't even born in that decade. That's the secret of staying young. Have a younger wife and young kids. Okay, left elbow to right knee, crunch it, <laughs> extend, crunch, two. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that is a good quadruped warm up. We're going to go into what we call a plank next, which you're probably 
familiar with or at least heard about. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to finish the warm up with the clamshells. So we are training and transforming, training our body, transforming our minds. So get your mind right and everything else falls right into place. So key with a good plank is core activation. And I'm going to give you a couple little pointers as we go. So you want your elbows under your shoulders, up on your toes. If that's too hard for you, you can do it from your knees. Whether you're doing it from your toes or your knees, you want to squeeze your glutes down like you're making a diamond out of coal, if you can know what I mean. And then you're going to pull your elbows towards your hips. You see I'm shaking, so I'm applying force to this contraction. Now I'm drawing my belly button to spine. You should not be sagging in the wagon. You want to be nice, rigid posture. You can hold it for 20 seconds. I'm squeezing hard. Squeeze with me, people. You squeeze it, Holly. Yes. And release. All right. So that's a good, normal, standard plank. Now we're going to do 10 seconds on the side. Right elbow under your right shoulder. Stack your feet. Or if you're new to these, you can cross your outside leg over the top. So I'm going to stack my feet. We're going to go up onto our elbow, squeezing, lifting our hips high enough that we're off the ground. We feel underneath here as we contract. Just 10 seconds. So that is that. Rotate to your other side, talking away from the camera. But you can use your imagination. You can see my posterior side. Hopefully it looks awesome. If All not, of you look awesome, I'll work Mr. harder Brian. for you. All right, cool. So finally, last thing, if you have a mini band, you can put that above your knees, follow along with Holly. For those of you who don't, I'm with you. I'm gonna leave mine off, because maybe you don't have one. And I get it. So lay on your side. If you don't have a mic sitting on your hip, like I do, you can probably lay all the way on your side. Uh, like do you want me to turn to the side so I can see? Doing, but basically you're going to create a 90 degree angle. You want your feet stacked. You're pivoting off the heel of your top foot. We're opening that shell up and closing it down. So if you don't have a mini band, here's a trainer tip. Add pressure with your outside hand. So I'm going to push against my knee and press it down. If you have a mini band, let the mini band do the work. But I'm also using my chest and shoulders to push my leg down. See? Think outside the box, people. We can get through this. We're in the COVID-19 crisis when we're filming this. Ten years from now, if you're watching this, <clears throat> look it up. All right. Squeeze it up. It was a modern-day apocalypse. Unexplainable. Maybe they will have an explanation ten years from now and study it in the history books. Two more. Hoop. Last one. Oh yeah, we're feeling, you feeling those glutes, Holly? Yes. All right. All right, so we're gonna rotate to the other side. We are almost done with this awesome warm up, prehab style. All right, pressing against my knee. You wanna keep your head and shoulders relaxed. I don't want anybody hurting themselves. So lift it up, press it down, lift it up. Press it down and up, press it down and up, down, up, down, up, down. Three more and two and one. All right, so that is an awesome, pretty awesome, let's just call it what it is. I don't want to use awesome flippantly, but a pretty awesome warm up to get your core fired up, core activated. If you're new to working out, that may be your workout. Just start where you're at. Don't expect miracles. Be patient with yourself. I'm breathing heavy and I work out all the time. So just be patient through the process. That's a good way to build foundational pillar core strength. And uh, so that's warm up. We're going to call warm up number one, and you can throw that into your workouts. So, 
Stay tuned, let's go on to the workout.